three of the top four teams from the 2000 Olympic Games. Three nations with an entirely new look. They met in Syracuse, New York four months ago in the first team competition since Sydney. That's where a relatively unknown 12-year-old from Dallas, Texas, on her final uneven bar routine, helped the United States come out on top. Now, Holly Weiss is among a young American group who have come to Hawaii to try and do it again. Romania left Sydney as the best women's team in the world. They, too, bring new faces to Hawaii for this rematch. does China. Although their team is anchored by two Olympic veterans, including Ling Jia, a double medal winner in Sydney. For the USA, this is no vacation in paradise, but another test against the best in the world. Valuable experience for the new gymnastics generation. It's been more than 15 years since the elite gymnasts of the world have come to America's 50th state. A perfect occasion then for the traditional Hawaiian greeting on the shores of Waikiki. And so the gymnasts from these three nations assemble with all their hopes and dreams for the future. But their bodies don't know anything about hopes and dreams. Just as Crystal Uslak from Whitehall, Pennsylvania. In the opening minutes of training for the competition, she went down in pain. Her exit from the arena was less than glamorous. Headed to an x-ray in the arms of her coach, Bill Strauss, Crystal's competition was done. Even though she could smile through it, the United States needed someone to fill her spot. So the long-distance call went out to the mainland. Marie Fjordholm answered it. Aloha. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Ready? And 30 hours after receiving that traditional Hawaiian leg greeting at Honolulu International Airport, here is Marie Fjordholm wearing the red, white, and blue. Now this could go one way or the other. Nervous or not? Let's go to Beth Ruyak down on the floor. Thanks, Al. Marie had almost nine hours on the plane, and within a half hour of landing, she was here, changed her clothes, and was already working out. Marta Caroli said to her, are you ready for this? And she said, yes, I am. So she will be competing in this meet in vault and in floor. And at this point, she has not yet been to the beach. And she told me a few minutes ago, Al, it's only beginning to sink in that she's actually in Hawaii. Not yet been to the beach? That's wrong. Al Trowick with Beth, Tim Daggett, and Elfie Schlegel. And as is so often the case, bags of ice are plentiful. But there is Crystal Uslak, who's going to watch this competition and support her teammates. She's not going anywhere. So it's the United States, China, and Romania as we start things off with the United States on vault. Here's Holly Weiss, who did well, as we mentioned briefly, at the earlier three-nation competition in Syracuse, New York, a few months ago. She is one of the new generation of gymnasts. Very strong crop coming up for Team USA. One of the changes that you'll see in this competition, seeing that it is a team event, is in the women's rules today, they will only perform one vault. I like it. Good job, baby. With her coach, Yevgeny Marchenko there, he says that this vault was an impossible dream for so long. She struggles in the power and strength area. This is a huge improvement for Holly right here. 8975 for Holly Weiss. To the Chinese women now. Wang Mandan, along with Ling Jia, part of the Olympic effort in Sydney. And we should point out, this is the traditional 6-5-4. You have six team members, five go on any of the four rotations, and the best four scores count. And so that is critical because what that means is one score gets dropped. You got one mistake, it's bad. If you have two, that score is going to be counting. The Chinese have actually fielded a team of three veterans and three very young juniors.
Fang Mandan, actually a silver medalist at the 99 World Championships on this event, said one of the reasons she wants to continue is she was shut out of the medals in Sydney. And that is a shame because that was a beautiful exercise. And looking at her hand there probably means that somehow she lost her grip. A much different gymnast from last year at the team event. She arrived at that competition shortly after the Olympic Games, was totally burnt out. I was just about to say, it looked like she had her form back, and what a shame to fall on what was an amazing routine. Through the warm-ups and already in this competition, the Chinese coaches and the athletes have such a pleasant demeanor. 8-3 for Huang Mandan on the uneven bars. And it feels like every young gymnast from the island of Oahu is in the Blaisdell Center here with us today. The Romanians are on the balance beam. This is Sylvia Sorescu. Sylvia is one of the junior athletes that the Romanians have brought. She was actually second at the Junior European Championships behind her teammate, Sabina Kojikar, who we'll see shortly. Had a chance to talk with some of the Romanian girls and this one right here. She was oh, the chatterbox, she, right? <laughs> she was. Definitely the group spokesperson. And I said, what's your, what's your favorite thing? And she says, the beam. I like the beam. They all like the beam. <laughs> the Romanians are very good on this event. Tim, Tim doing impersonations now. <laughs> I think one of the reasons why they are so strong is they practice routine after routine after routine. It's not unusual to see each one of these young ladies practice at least 10 routines in a practice session. Of course, they come from the same gym that built Nadia in Deva, that small village. And many of you probably remember the lasting images from the Olympics of the entire village showing up and holding a candle with the gymnasts. The girls also mentioned that they were so excited about arriving in Hawaii they imagined getting the lays as they walked off the airplane, but they said they were so tired to enjoy them. It had been about a 20-hour trip from Romania. Very important to note, though, that their number one priority is not fun in games. I asked them what they wanted to do. First, we want to win, then shop, and then the beach. Win, shop, beach. Yeah, the Romanian women will certainly want to do better than the men did in the men's competition involving the same three nations here in Honolulu. And so the United States comes to Hawaii as a team, but every once in a while, some gymnast singles themselves out because of their special abilities. Carly Patterson on the vault when we come back. The 2000. This is the 2001 Pontiac American Team Cup from the Blaisdell Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now we are updating scores. Sylvia Sorescu on the balance beam for Romania, 8.75. We go to the United States now, and Ashley Miles, 10th grader from San Antonio, Texas. And you see the two scores by the United States already are in the eights. And so that means they will keep an eight, but we should see a nine here. Start value 9.7. Only three gymnasts have that high on vault. going to get a big score here. Her coach Mike Harris there. That's what we want it. That's what we want it. She wake up. <laughs> Ashley said that the training camp that they had just prior to this event was absolutely grueling. The hardest part was the two minute wait before they announced who the team would be. You also saw Marta Caroli there, who's overseeing the United States program. And well into the nines, Ashley Miles, 9-3-7-5. China also will keep a score in the eights. Peng Sha from Shangsha, China. She's 